Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. Today we are going to explore a fundamental topic which is the differences between a chemical and an electrochemical reaction. In this video we are going to explore what is happening on a electrode surface or a working electrode surface when we apply a potential onto it. This video will help you enhancing your fundamental knowledge of electrochemistry and I request you watch the entire video. So we start with a typical chemical reaction. So we all know a chemical redox reaction, loss of electrons are termed as oxidation whereas the gain of electrons are termed as reduction. We start with a very basic example which we have read in our school level that is the reaction between zinc and copper sulfate. Zinc goes to zinc sulfate and the copper plus 2 goes to the copper. So here in zinc was at elemental 0 state leaving 2 electron giving zinc plus 2 that is a typical oxidation process whereas copper was at copper plus 2 state taking 2 electrons and becoming copper. So you try to understand one thing. So here nothing but exchange of electrons are taking place. The zinc which is giving 2 electrons those 2 electrons are being taken up by the copper plus 2. So in any redox couple if any material is giving electron the other material has to take up that particular electron. We give another example so this is a typical this is a little bit complicated but again a, a redox couple. So here in uh, the FC plus which is an abbreviation form of ferrocenium which is undergoing reduction to ferro ferrocene. So in this case uh, this particular entity is acting like a catalyst, a redox catalyst. So what is the task of that? You can see that Fc plus taking up one electron going to Fc. So somebody has to provide that particular electron and that somebody is this catalyst. So the action of this particular entity is nothing but acting like a catalyst providing the electron which is required to reduce this Fc plus. So we term it as a chemical reaction, a catalytic chemical reaction. So how exactly that catalytic chemical reaction takes place? We would like to explore fundamental mechanism of this particular reaction. So with the help of molecular orbital theory, we would like to explain it. So Fc plus in general uh, has one electron in its outermost shell, which is remaining at ground state, say at this particular energy level and the catalyst having energy level little bit higher than the Fc plus energy level of the electron uh, of outermost shell of the catalyst. Now Fc plus actually remains in LUMO that is lowest unoccupied molecular orbital and this catalyst last electron remains in HOMO that means highest occupied molecular orbital. And as you can see from this energy diagram, the HOMO has more energy. So the electron residing on it having higher energy has a tendency to, uh, to, to give this particular electron to Fc plus because it wants to stabilize its system less energy more stable. So to make the system stabilize it, it, it gives the electron and it goes to the Fc plus and thereby the reduction takes place and Fc plus converts into Fc. You can see in Fc it has two electrons of opposite spin at this ground level which is the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. So this is how the chemical reaction is taking place or this homogeneous reaction you can see this is homogeneous electron transfer that means transfer of electron in a solution through a catalyst. Now we would like to talk about electrochemical reaction. The fundamental difference between chemical and electrochemical reaction is in chemical reaction we are using this particular catalyst but in electrochemical reaction the same reduction will take place reduction of Fc plus to Fc but with in the absence of a particular chemical catalyst. Instead of using a chemical catalyst, we are using an electro electrode and the electrode is actually providing electron. Now the question is where from the electrode is getting electron. So in typical electrochemical processes, we apply potential onto the electrode 
and that potential helps bringing in electron and those electron can be facilitated for the reduction of fc plus again we would like to briefly look at the mechanism so uh, this is the energy diagram last electron in the fc plus and this is the ground state electronic state of the electrode now what happens if we apply a potential onto the electrode if we apply a negative potential the electrode will try to accommodate more electrons and thereby its fermi level will increase and at this point the energy level of the electrode will go uh, higher than this fc plus and in this condition this electron can be transported to the fc plus and thereby reduction takes place so the external energy applied to the electrode that facilitates transport of electron and thereby the reduction takes place so this is how the reduction with the help of a working electrode is happening in a typical electrochemical setup now let us also look at how exactly the opposite thing happens so the uh, i mean if reduction is the forward reaction so the backward reaction would be the oxidation so both the things we will be looking at so say initially we are looking at the reduction process so this is the electrode this is the energy level of the electrons this is the vacant molecular orbital and this is the occupied molecular orbital in the solution now this is the potential so you know in cyclic voltammetry or some other characterization processes we actually change the potential onto the electrode you can change the potential onto the electrode from a positive potential to a negative the scale is showing the variation of the potential that you apply on the electrode now we look at what happens if we apply a very uh, high negative voltage you can see when we apply a high negative voltage the electrode energy gone up and it it is now staying here and this is this was the occupied molecular orbital and this is the vacant molecular orbital of the solution solution means the a component is residing in the solution i would also like to say where exactly the reaction is taking place in heterogeneous catalysis the reaction is basically taking place at the interface of the solid and liquid surface so the electron is residing onto the electrode it will come out and it will actually provide electron to this a or a minus and this electron transport will take place from the electrode surface to the liquid which is remaining just just touching the surface so here at this point when we apply more energy it becomes energetic and electron transport to the to this particular orbital takes place and that is what is your reduction you can see a plus electron giving a minus and this is what your reduction is now we, we would also like to see how the oxidation takes place so again uh, we are showing the energy level at ground state for the electrode and the energy level of the uh, solution that is a at the ground state now what we do we apply this time a positive potential so if we apply a positive potential the electronic energy level uh, goes down and now say the electrode is residing here so you have to put enough positive potential so that the energy level of the electrode goes down of this occupied molecular orbital so in that case what will happen one electron from this occupied molecular orbital can come to the electrode surface and thereby a leaving one electron giving you a plus and this is how oxidation takes place on a typical working electrode surface so we learned about how exactly oxidation and reduction takes place in uh, onto a electrode surface with the help of applied potential this is very important applied potential whether it's a positive potential or negative potential thereby the oxidation and reduction depends so we understood typical electrochemical processes differences between electrochemical and uh, chemical reaction here systematically we have jotted down few uh, points uh, for taking for drawing a difference so in chemical uh, so the points are reducing agent so in chemical reaction the reducing agents are basically catalyst 
in electrochemical reaction electrons are generated on the electrode surface and that actually acts as a virtual catalyst energy source what is the energy source uh, does not require any external energy source for chemical reaction but in the case of electrochemical it requires external potential so onto the electrode you have to apply either positive or negative potential then reaction mechanism the chemical reaction basically governed by thermodynamically favorable reaction conditions like temperature pressure etc whereas the electron in electrochemical process the transfer of electron takes place from the electrode to electrolyte at the interface so control and selectivity how you can control a chemical reaction a chemical reaction can be controlled by manipulating reaction conditions whereas for controlling an electrochemical reaction we need to adjust applied potential so now onwards whatever we talk about we will uh, consider the dependence of the applied potential onto the chemical or electrochemical reaction kinetics as i have discussed in my last video we'll talk about different kinds of cyclic voltage voltammetry uh, cyclic voltammetry amperometry potentiometry chrono amperometry in all those cases the game is between applied potential and changing the condition or energetic condition of the electrode so that we can carry out or we can observe different cases so today we stop here if you if you like our video we would like to request you to share those videos with your peer members and also subscribe to our channel